So you've recorded your video on Reck and Share. What do you do now if you've got version two? Well, it's actually really, really simple. So as you can see, I've got my recorded video on the screen at the moment. I'm going to hit the export button. And that might take some time to render on your version. I've already rendered it. Uh, so, But when you press that button, this screen comes up the file sharing screen. But if you press and hold the picture of the video, then you get all your options open to you. So if you press the share button, you can save it to your videos, you can export it, you can do whatever else you want. You can export it to Dropbox, you can save it to other files, you can send it to a person, you can upload to YouTube or whatever you want to do. So it's actually very simple, but there's something else you can do. Up to this point, that's exactly the same as the original version one of Reck and Share. But if I just go back a screen, if I touched Reck and Share, go at the top of the screen on top left, that takes us into the files which are stored on the cloud. OK, if I come down here and if I go to the folder which has the same name as the file I've just recorded, so Reck and Share loop, if I now look inside that, I've actually got two other things. I've actually got just the video file with the drums, which is on the left. And on the right, I have just the audio from the EAD. So if I put that together with the original track, which you will also find in the Reck and Share file on the cloud, which is where you found the components for the video. I can take all the individual parts and re-edit the film if I want to, but I've actually got the individual parts, which is very, very useful. So that is the difference between the old version one of Reck and Share and version two of Reck and Share. So you've still got everything, but it's stored on the cloud. It won't get lost if your phone crashes or the app crashes or something else like that. Because it's stored on the cloud, you can always get it back. Plus, you've got the individual components as well for you to edit together as you want to later on.